our fridge and freezer stopped. Um, usually an indication that it's the thermistor is if you're getting um, ice build up and things like that. Well, the wife didn't tell me about that. But uh, anyway, you know, if it's not getting cold after a day or whatever, there's this thing right here. It just simply plugs right here. And then two pieces plug into the wire or into the light there and then it just clips. This just slides right in. So there'll be some indication of a light here. This will blink. Mine was blinking five times. One, two, three, four, five. And you can come over to your book. And here's all the uh, different troubles. <clears throat> well, anyway, um, the end, this is the part number. This is the metal clip. It was actually only half that price. But the uh, type of fridge here is a Norcold N811. And how you fix it or reset it. <clears throat> this panel, you just twist these and it pulls right off and it gets you to here. This is the back of the fridge. And you take this off. That exposes all of this. And then with the refrigerator off, you disconnect the following from the board. The 12 volt DC, this. The AC power cord, this. The gas valve solenoid coils these two things or you could pull them off the board and then these two wires and then this and I pulled these two just for safe measures but um, take a picture so you know where they go maybe make a mark because these two look the same so what I did is unplug this one up high and this one down low so that there was no confusion and then when that's all done <coughs> you uh, let's see, you reconnect them all, turn the refrigerator back on, and then you take a piece of wire, any sort of insulated wire, and it's pin 15, which is kind of weird because I think this is either upside down or they count backwards, but so this would be 16, so there's 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 16th one. I don't know if you can see, but it's the far top right. That's purple. They call it violet and white. It's the one next to it. It's empty. You take this. You got to make. It's really hard. Where's my? There we go. It's really hard to get it deep enough in there. So you really gotta make it thin and stiff and get it in there. Put it in there, and then touch the other half to this ground. See this green wire? From here, like that. Touch that, and then put this piece in there, and hold it there, and. Between 10 and 15 seconds, you'll hear a distinct, distinct click, click, a couple of click, one or two clicks, and that resets the whole unit. And then um, you go back in, turn off the fridge, and then turn it back on, and then um, hopefully um, that resets everything. And if not, you read the code again. Well, my code started switching to then. Um, what was it one beep every three seconds and that was um the thermistor code so originally mine was beeping five times which means it's not cooling so then i reset the whole point of this is okay it was not cooling in order to reset it to give me the correct code i did all that it reset and then it gave me a code blinking once every three seconds which if you look at the very beginning of the video you'll see what they all mean but that was indication of a thermistor and the thermistor was super easy to change like I showed you it was just a clip and then there was two push-ins like these up to light the light bulb up and um, and then you just literally it's like a pinch pin you just slide it in one of those fins and you're done so I turned off the fridge to do that install that turned it back on and as you saw earlier in the video the green light is solid all the time and I believe my Fridge is fixed. This can go back on. There's just like a couple bolt holes, and that's it. This is the gas if you're going to run gas. So mine was off for whatever reason. This is on. I think up is off. But all good now.
20 bucks fixed.